Welcome back. Parents, thank you so much for your support all these years. What a wonderful job you have done raising these citizens of the world. It must be kind of quiet around your house now. I have a senior, so I know the comings and goings, the late nights with, the, with all the homework that had to be done that we put off till late nights, all the food that disappears out of the refrigerator, constant talk of how mean the teachers are at Atlanta High School, um, and of course, the latest revelation from Facebook. I'm sure the bills for text messaging have, have not gone down, and the constant calls for more money coming from college are still coming in. But thank you. Thank you for sharing with us your most precious resources and trusting us with these graduates. The faculty and the staff. Look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> I know of no other group of professional educators that can do what you can do. Taking these middle school students and transfer, transforming them into citizens of the world. Thank you so much for sharing all of your talents. Graduates, welcome back. This is your alma mater, Atlantic Community High School. We truly have missed most of you. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, some of you. <laughs> All right. Guys, I hate to tell you this, but you are the most successful class in the history of the IB in the last year. For one thing, you were the largest. 133 students sat in May for, the, for an IB diploma. And 120 of you earned that diploma. You gotta realize, that's 90%. Worldwide, if you've gone to an average IB school, there's only a 78% chance you're gonna walk out with an IB diploma. Only 19,000 of you earned IB diplomas in the, in the United States and 41,000 IB diplomas worldwide. Now we know it takes 24 points to get a diploma. This class averaged 30 points on the diploma. <laughs> and of course, once again, you beat the world average, which was only 29. <laughs> IB exams are graded from one to seven. On all of your exams, over 800 exams, you average a 4.86. Once again, beating the world, which was only at 4.66. The highest point total you can get is 45. One of you out there got a 42. <laughs> you sat international baccalaureate exams in 30 different subjects. And in 21 of those subjects, your average exceeded the world average. In 12 of the subjects, at least one student got a seven, the highest score. <laughs> and believe it or not, no one got a one on any subject. <laughs> your pass rate on all of your IB exams was 94%. On your extended essays, 15 of you received the top score of A, and no one got the lowest score. On your TOK, presentations and essays, 27 of you got A's, and no one got an E. You performed over 20,000 hours of community service. The total value of your scholarships exceeded $3 million. All right. Impressive stats, but what do you do with an IB diploma? For those of you, too much is given, much is expected. The generations before you have not been good stewards of this planet. Currently, we're a little over seven billion humans infesting this earth. We need you 
to redefine what it means to be a human being on Earth at a time when all of our living systems are currently in decline. We know we cannot sustain the current level of consumption. Here's a problem for you. Last night, the U.S. has 18.1 million homes which are empty. About five, 5 million are vacation homes, 4 million were currently for rent, and about two and a half million are currently for sale. Take that out of the 18 million, that left 7 million empty houses last night, and 750,000 people had no place to sleep. More than 1 billion people do not get adequate health care. On average, developing countries have one doctor for every 6,000 inhabitants. In Florida, got a doctor for every 230th. You know, there's a, this talk of 1%. I have 120 diploma holders sitting in this room right now. In the United States, only 12,000 students earned an IB diploma. You are this 1%. Should not the 1%, the best minds, be dedicated to solving our biggest problems? The depth of global poverty, the prevalence of world hunger, the scarcity of clean water? Should not you, the 1%, the world's most privileged people learn about, care about, and make a difference in the lives of the world's least privileged. These are kind of the questions on your final IV exam. You will answer with what you choose to do from this point on. Don't let anything hold you back. Chase the American dream, but be the 1% that stands up for others. Be an optimist, not a pessimist. Be a doer and a dreamer. Be an adventurer, not a spectator. Be the one percent who reaches across the aisle and tries for compromise. The earth desperately needs your talents at this time. Don't surround yourself with people who know what is not possible. Do what needs to be done, and check to see if it was impossible only after you have completed your task. These decisions are yours. You get to decide whether you're on the right path. And if you're on the wrong path, get off it. You get to choose your destination. You get to set your goals now. You get to determine the path you're gonna take. And you decide on how long it takes. You also choose the group that you choose to be with. Find the downfalls in life. The ones who work hard at their crap. Find the jades. The students like you who are willing to try something different. I hope you would judge yourself not on your professional accomplishments, but on how well you have addressed the world's largest inequities, on, well, on how well you have treated people a world away who have nothing in common with you but humanity. The IB Challenge used to make this world a better place to live. Past performance is the greatest predictor of future success. You're the finest set of IB students to come through Atlanta Community High School in over 20 years. Congratulations. You have a big task ahead of you. I know you can do it.